Okay, we're discussing Americanization here on Kababayan today. Malalim na pinag-uusapan natin to. JP, before we went to break, I wanted to know, what do you think of the colonial roots of Americanization? Mm -hmm. I think one really interesting way to look at that is how Americanization is coupled with consumerism. Mm. And thinking about how um, uh, the colonization of the Philippines by America was a great market for American goods, and American goods were placed at such a premium oh, yeah. in, from the beginning to today. And so growing up, I always thought it was so funny because family would visit me, and they would bring me Filipino snacks, and I thought they were amazing, and uh -huh. they blew my mind. I could get, never get them here, but of course, when we make a Balik Bayan box, we have to, you know, yeah. pack it with Snickers and Kit Kats. BX goods! Exactly. Pag na growing up in the Philippines, pag meron kang PX goods, sikat ka! Oh. Diba? <laughs> oh, no. Diba? Okay, so how have laws, policies, and violence prevented Filipinos um, from claiming an American identity? Although, okay, panimula tayo, because it goes further than that, mm. no? Uh, under under the Spanish colonial regime, remember they always tried to dis to make sure that the uh, peninsulares no could distinguish themselves from the natives or the Indians. Mm -hmm. No, it's one of the speculation, and again, this is maybe a, just an apocryphal story, is the fact that Filipinos could not tuck in their shirt, and that is how we reappropriated that to make the Barang Tagalog uh -huh. elaborate uh, Very okay. interesting. Is there something similar no, under the American regime, under the American colonial occupational regime? And I'm trying to say that, that which we have, we, we have appropriated and everything. No? Since having more commercialization is one of their major influences. Well, okay. Have we reappropriated some of that? Sure. I mean, and, and again, yeah. you know, you know, now, like, now we're trying to now, buy gear you know, with the Filipino right. flag, That's, for, right? For example, Look at the jeepney. For example, yeah. the jeepney. You know, in a, that was an American. I know because of oh, the Second oh, World War. No, but we made it our we own. We made it our own. That's small. right. But mukhang jeep pa rin when you look at it. Yung, the, the oh, but distinguishable so, na Pilipino na siya kasi right, Pilipino na siya. jeepney. Oh. Carol, ikaw. Now, let, let's add to that what he's saying. Yeah. Yung hip hop. No. Uh oh. Filipino. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Basketball, <laughs> diba? Right. Basketball. So it's a really appropriate bucket. Yeah, so lahat yun <laughs> na muna natin. Oh. Uh oh. So, Carol, ikaw naman, how do you feel that, you know, laws have sort of uh, prevented Filipinos from claiming na kano sila? Uh oh. Let's be clear. It's not just Filipinos who mm -hmm. were prevented from be claiming an American identity. That has its roots from racism. Mm. Uh, so when blacks are not allowed to be American, to claim their identity as an American, even though they were born here, um, it follows it with the other uh, non-white right. um, um, immigrants or population. Yeah. So Filipinos who came here in 1905 on came here as nationals, okay? Mm -hmm. Which means they carried an American passport. But they were not citizens. Interesting. Oh, because oh. there was an anti-Asian ban. Right. No more immigration from other parts of Asia. But Filipinos being a territory of the U.S., pwede kang pumunta. Pero, pero hindi well, ka Amerikano. Oh, pero hindi ka oh, citizen. At hindi hanggang citizen. ngayon, marami pa rin tayong mga veterans, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. mm -hmm. Na wala yeah. pa rin benefits. No, so, let's extend that. Kaya yung sabi ni, mabuti nga nabanggit niya yun, no? Remember, the Filipinos also were included, the Filipino immigrants, prior to the Second World War, mm -hmm. no? Ito mga sakadas dito. Mm -hmm. They were also brought under the anti-miscegenation law. Mm -hmm. That's right. They that, could uh, not marry uh -oh. Caucasians. Right. And, and therefore, in that sense, you could not claim an American identity. That's right. Okay, JP, this is what you specialize in, mm -hmm. is race and racism, mm -hmm. how do you uh, feel about this? Absolutely, I think that um, you know laws take place in um, legislatures, but they take place on the streets. And precisely, I think about the very um, harsh history of violence all across California and the West Coast related to the anti-miscegenation laws, related to those laws that prevented Filipinos and other people of color from marrying Yeah, whites. let's not let's not forget, no dogs or Filipinos <laughs> allowed. Mm -hmm. Positively. Diba? Positively. Positively. <laughs> um, uh, what, how do you feel about this, Carolina? You know, another issue is um, immigration. 
mm -hmm. right? We have these quotas on immigration. We have these, I mean, we've ha I've had relatives that had to wait 20 years for their paperwork to come through. And that's legally. And that's legally. Mm -hmm. And then you have people that overstay. Yes. And, and then we have labor laws, you know, we, right. and we have this kind of economy that is built on health care. Mm -hmm. And we have this large population of home health care workers. So I think that, um, you know, our policies um, aren't as um, explicitly racist, mm -hmm. right? But when we look at labor issues, when we look at immigration, um, there you'll see really kind of the implicit ways, mm -hmm. right, that uh, Filipinos and other communities are discriminated against. Yes, and that's why it's so important that uh, we lobby for our rights. Meron po tayong karapatan dito in the great nation of America. Let us not be afraid to speak up, you know? We're so used as Filipinos na, mm, sige, uh, di ba, martir ako, wala po akong sasabihin. Times are changing. We need to speak up. Don't rock the boat. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, magbabalik tayo here on Kababayan Today. Don't go away.